Hey babies, I'm back with another video and today's video is going to be a video explaining what I've been missing and why I haven't been posting or selling wigs lately. There's a lot going on. First, I haven't been feeling like myself. I haven't been feeling pretty lately. I felt tired all the time. It's a lot that's really going on with me that you guys didn't know i was debating if i should do this video if i shouldn't do this video it was a lot of debating i've been hiding something from you guys for a while now and it's going to come out so this is my video explaining to you why i have been missing or why i haven't been posting or selling wigs lately so basically so everything started on how did it start okay um okay so december around december um i've been feeling sick like nausea all the time <sighs> lord this is so much for me to even tell you guys like i was going to hide this whole thing from you guys honestly like i wasn't gonna hide it because eventually you guys would have find out but i just I don't know. I didn't felt like it was the right time to tell all you. And I'm sick right now too, if you could hear my voice. But that's for that. So on um, December, um, I've been feeling sick. Um, my breast was very sore, like very sore. And I was getting cramps. And I was like, okay, maybe it's just, you know, my period coming. Because usually when you get in your menstrual cycle, you start to, you know, experience cramps before it come. So I was having that, but my period was still not coming and I was still getting cramps and it was going on for a while. Mm. But before that, I had my period. Before that, before, before. Before that, my period was very light. It was like two days. It was two days. And um, then, you know, after that, my period was supposed to come again and I was just feeling cramps, but I was never getting it. So I was like, I guess it's just coming. It's just late. Cause you know, every girl's cycle changes. It's either they come early or change to it coming late. My period, I was changing. So I was like, okay, whatever. So, um, I don't know. Like something was like, something is wrong. And, um, I keep debating. Okay. Like, okay. I was like, nothing is wrong. I just may be late for my period. I didn't ha I had no clue what was going on. And then one day I went to do somebody's hair to install a wig and um she had a baby and she was beautiful by the way if you're watching this she was beautiful and she said she had tests at home um, pregnancy tests and i was late like i was so late for my period i was like 12 days late and i had no clue like i i didn't know i thought i was just late you know so um aksa do you have a spare one because you know, I know I've been doing the do once. You know. I know I I did it. So I was like, okay, so maybe something is wrong. So I took, she gave me a test. I went, asked her if I could use the restroom. And I did it. And, you know, I pee. So I took the test, basically. And um, <laughs> when I took the test, it didn't even, I didn't even have to wait two minutes for it to show two lines pop up and i was just i was just shocked like i'm gonna show i'm gonna show a little you know to show the pregnancy thing i was like shocked i was like no something is wrong so i went to the bedroom and i went to the girl and i just started crying i was like oh my god i can't believe and she was so happy she was so excited she was like oh my god a little kalani is coming and I was just like, no, I don't want that. I don't, I'm not ready to be a mother. I'm too young. What will my mother say? So I started crying. She said, don't cry. Da, da, da. And um, um, <clears throat> so I called my boyfriend. That's the first person that I ever found out. And I called him and he was like, <clears throat> he was like, you for real? And I was like, yeah. He was like, and he was quiet. And he was like, you okay? And I was like, no, I'm crying because I'm freaking out. I don't know what to do. What should I do? 
who to tell how am i going to tell my mother how would she react what would she say what would she it was just so much going in my head and okay i was like okay whatever so i was like, i was just there and i got hungry you know i got hungry i was hungry all the time by the way i was always eating and i i was like why am i eating so much so after i did her hair i went to you know my boyfriend's house and i was you know i showed him the test and then we was talking and i was so scared that i told him that's not tell my mother until i know it's real and we both agreed we both agreed not to tell my mother you know at that same time or the next day so me knowing me i'm so scared i wanted my mother i wanted to tell my mother like listen mommy i need help you know i'm in this situation even though she's been telling me kelanis do this take this don't do this and you know it's not my mother's fault everyone parents feel like because you did something behind your parents back is because they haven't parents or they didn't raise you right and that's not correct it's nothing wrong my mother she did warn me but it's my actions not hers so don't ever ever go to a parent and say it's your fault or your daughter no it was me i felt like i was ready and i did it and now i'm in this situation so the next day i woke up and i had in my mind that i needed advice from my mother what to do da -da -da -da. so i was debating should i go to should i wait for my mother to come home to tell her or should i go to her job because she's not going to be able to cost me at work only at home so <laughs> i decided to go to her job and tell her so i did not tell kevin of course because i told him not to tell no one until we found out it was for real and then i went to her and i told her and when i told her she already figured it out because weeks before she asked me clients have you gotten your period i said no she said hmm. and then when i told her work she had she already i was like mommy so me and kevin you know i should like you're pregnant i was like yeah i think so and she was just frozen she was just like quiet and i see you don't have nothing to say she was like i don't have nothing to say and i was like oh my gosh and then you know a lot more things happen that's between me and my mother i'm not going to put all my personal business out there but yeah and then um what happened after that so then i told my boyfriend that i told my mother he cussed me because he he wanted me to make sure so then that's when my mother sent me a whole paragraph of course she was mad hella mad she was cussing me she was like you're so irresponsible you know things that are every mother is going to be mad at first <coughs> every mother is going to be mad at first so then um i went to my boyfriend's job and we took another test and it didn't even take two minutes to show up that i'm pregnant again so i start crying again then my stepfather called because my mother told my stepfather my stepfather cussed me and then he also told me no matter what i'll always support and love you even though you made the wrong decision yes i felt like i'd made the wrong decision but at the same time i wouldn't i would not abort my child or give it up to for adoption because that's my mistake and that's that child has nothing to do with my mistakes and what i've done that child is completely innocent <coughs> So, um, I think that's how I found out. Like, it wasn't nothing big. So, so the big thing is why I have been missing is because I'm pregnant. Um, yes, I'm pregnant. I was just freaking out. A lot of people know about it because I called a couple of my friends. And I was like, you know, I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. And they were like, oh my God, yeah. Everyone was excited, like everyone. Um, I hide it from you guys because I am, um, a lot of people, hmm. Whew, listen, I didn't want nobody wishing bad on me and my child because I was early at that time. And yeah like that's why i didn't tell you but now i know some people some people was talking like a lot of heck a lot of people were talking all kind of heck oh she's this she's that 
you guys was also assuming that i was pregnant before so i so i made this video for you guys basically so i am three months pregnant i'm 13 weeks so i'm basically a month and a week pregnant i'm gonna show you guys a little baby thing yes i'm pregnant <laughs> that's why i've been missing yes i know so yeah now you guys know now you guys is going to be a part of me and my child's journey and my boyfriend's journey of course it kind of feel good to tell you guys kind of feel scared for the reactions but yeah that's it that's my story it was really hard because i had a lot of you know drama not drama but it was so hard with me and my mother because she wasn't talking to me, me for a while and then you know now i hope i don't know this is my story about how i found out 